Hello, we are Van Life Goodies, a family of four who share our adventures in our T5 VW camper van, along with product reviews and tips and tricks of van life. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> Note for these ultimate chairs, be careful. Don't if you sit on that. <laughs> down, I'd like the middle double chair, because I'm just laughing. It's it doesn't half here. <laughs> Today, we are sharing our review of the internal screen blind from Custom Covers. These covers are UK made, thermal and can be attached from the inside of the van, making them great for wild camping and offering an easy getaway if needed. The side panels magnetise to the window frames, meaning the side doors can still be opened with the blinds in situ, unlike external windscreen covers. Fitting the main screen cover involves screwing three press doves into the pillars and then hooking an elastic over the sun visor. We found fitting the press studs a very fiddly job, particularly the bottom two, as there is limited room to get a screwdriver in. But once in place, they are fine. The concept of this product is excellent. However, when fitting mine, we found that when one side is clipped in, it pops off when you attach the other side. Well, how's that then? <laughs> so it's just not wide enough? on pulls the other end off so now you do yours in the middle one and that just pulls that off so it's basically not wide enough so i'm sending them back now it's worth saying that i do feel had i sent them back it would have been replaced but there's no saying this would have rectified the issue and i was going away that weekend and needed it immediately so i sewed a strip into the middle and now it works a treat. Okay, so I've put it up. It's now staying up. But, of course, now we have a bit of a sag. So it either overstretches or sags. So I'm going to have to possibly put a bit of Velcro there, which isn't going to look great. But to be fair, I am a 2004 camper van. So... I think I'm past that. I just need it to be functional. So I think a bit of Velcro and um, we've solved the problem, hopefully. Now, after my weekend away, I decided to email custom covers telling them what had happened. That I had tried to call, but had yet had no response. So rectified the issue myself. I told them I thought the cover design was a good idea and I wanted to support their UK small company. After a few emails to and fro, with me sending videos and images, they said they were sorry for the issue and they could not resolve it as I had made my own changes, but could offer a 10% discount. I explained that I wanted to give an honest review and I hoped they could give some response to perhaps, or perhaps a plan to replace the press studs with stronger ones, suggesting another way I should have fitted them or offering some kind of advice I can pass on to my viewers. Eventually, they replied saying they were looking into it and they were in the process of arranging stronger poppers to be supplied. To conclude, I think this is a fantastic product and if the poppers are stronger, then I would just advise it for anyone, unless you don't like three press studs down your pillar in your van. Um, but actually brilliant for wild camping. They fit into a nice small package. I would highly recommend. Uh, I just hope they do improve the poppers because it just lets it down. I will stick a link below if you're interested in buying some of these. Um, obviously not sponsored. I don't know if custom covers want to respond to this on the um, YouTube channel. If you've had one of these and you've had no problem, let me know. It might just be that I got a bad one. Um, so um, uh, good luck. I hope that's been helpful for anyone thinking of buying it. <laughs>